And I'm an idiot because I just realized I was muted all this time. Hey, everybody. My name's Justin. My name's Tank. This is Lars. And he just watched us go through Oostengrav. And now we're going to go find the... Uh, prevent us having Ichi by the... By a house. We'll be ready. Good to know. Where is Avenici? That's Lydia. Hope Lydia isn't jealous. I have something for you. Here. All right, you give me something. Where is Avenichi? He wouldn't be out here, right? I hope he wouldn't be out here. There he is. I serve Jarl Balgrim. The Jarl is... As you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. I'd like to purchase a house in the city. Brendan, there's a house available right now. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. Um. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Can the I buy extra? Is more important than you realize. The Jarl often ask for my invaluable counsel. Well, there are three of them. Arranged in Why can I not, uh... Noticed. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight with the storm. I didn't get the book. Right, I didn't get the book, right? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I want to buy some stuff. You want something from me? Until next time. 
Well, we'll check out the house and maybe... Maybe then it'll work. Oh, I have stuff to sell too. I'll give some to the wizard. And then some to take some to war maidens. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great. Hmm. What have you got for sale? I had you figured for a mage. No. I think you'll appreciate this. Just got stuff you'll like. Robes of alteration. Picked up a scroll. At least I thought I did. Maybe you know, I didn't. If you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. That's all right. I have uh, spells though. Yeah, scrolls. Hope this game isn't getting glitchy. I'm gonna be annoyed if I can't upgrade this house. I'm gonna be really annoyed. Where's she going? <laughs> Rorik stands an ice nut to the hamlet. The boring cost of the car. Ah, you know, we'll see, uh, Bellathor. See if he'll take the scrolls. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a hop. Everything's. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Scrolls, there we go. Thank you. Ooh, level up. Oh, health. <clears throat> after do I need anything half damage from falling armor weighs nothing that's not for a while yet though so how about over here let's stagger two-handed anything else nope What are we having two-handed? More damage, whoops. Power attacks. 25%. Each. Can't do that, can't do a whole lot this uh, time around. I don't really just want to do a base damage. Increase. How about smithing? Nope. <laughs> well. Is that'll be it then. Freaking Avenichi let me buy anything yet. I work for Bellathor 
the general good story. Don't care. <laughs> Just want a nicer house. Did you know there's some fruits that actually grow better? Ay, ay, ay. No. Well, the steward's giving me trouble. Guards, <laughs> no, hey, the Arl is, as you can imagine, very busy. That is an old why is the keep called Dragon's Reach? Well known to those of us who serve in the keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor, with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned Where's in Mount Anthor? To Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex, and so from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Okay. The Can I work? Put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Silent Moon's camp. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Mm. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Let's look at our new stuff. Letter from Jarl Sidgir, Sidgir of Falkreath. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sidgir. I have the honor of the Jarl. Proud and ancient city of Falkreath. Fame of your exploits. Nope. Bounty. Algorith. Silent Moon's camp in harassing, robbing, and attacking. Reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader. Where's that camp at? Oh, not far. Let's see what's going on at your Vasker. If he is back, dragons are not a legend, they are very real.
I never thought they would actually let me join the companions. But now it looks like they're letting anyone in these days. I'd be dead if not for Big Knock. Took me in and helped me turn my life. What weapon do you have? Come to me with questions. What brings you to me? Find some strange creature in your travels? Uh, looking for Yella. I was the newest companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. Just means I can show you the ropes. That's Niata. I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. She's not in here, right? Nope. Oops. <laughs> the car's go in. Of steel to shape. I was told to open for me. Yes, lad. You've been raised into the companions, I hear. I can fashion whatever kind of weapon you want. Finest forge in Skyrim, right here before you. I'd like a war axe. Now that's a smart weapon. Light, strong, oh, crap. Useful. Crack some skulls for me. <laughs> it's actually not what I wanted. I meant battle axe. I meant battle axe. Well, I don't know what's going on with, uh, <laughs> Yella. I'll have to research that. Guess we'll go to Riverwood and... ...do the next part of the main quest. claim to be the best black what have you got for sale oh, are they better than that oh yeah so sell the imperial boots then and equip these Forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Have any ore? Yes, I know. Nope. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Ouch. Where is Carjo? I know I made that jump, but come on, man. I'm not happy with that cat. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. All these guards around the metery. 
tell where their uh, priorities are. Carjo, there you are. I knew you'd make it back. Freaking cat. It's funny because other uh, other Skyrim players seem to really like Carjo, but can't say he's doing much for me. Dragons about traveler. Be warned. It happened so fast. One minute the dragon was there, the next it was gone. Everything was destroyed. Did you see where the dragon went? No. I was too afraid to look. I don't know what we're going to do now. We have nothing left. Here you go. Too kind. Thank you. Be careful and stay safe. Turning night? Yeah, it's getting there. Come on. No wolves around, that's surprising. There's an elk, though. Well, <laughs> almost there. Scared some birds, that's always fun. Wonder what's that way. <laughs> Need a room? Talk to Delphine. No. Until next time. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I'd like to rent the attic room. Wink nod. Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, he will drink and will sing. To the children of Skyrim, and to the Guess it's the other left. Oh, yeah, there, there's the arrow. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean. Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Um. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. Close the door. Now we can talk. <laughs> the Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. You're the one who took the horn? Surprised? 
I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. What's with all the cloak, cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. Uh, I just came here for the horn. I'm not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Go like on, I'm listening. Note, I've heard I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Why are you looking for a Dragonborn? What most don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. Hell yeah. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? That's how I learned I was Dragonborn. You'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. How do I know I can trust you? If you don't you? trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Why did you take the horn from Ustengrav? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. So what's the part you're not telling me? aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life. And I need you to help me stop it. What makes you think the dragons are coming back I to know life? They are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. So where are we headed? There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Let's go kill a dragon. Gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. So, folks, I think we'll call it for now. Might do a little bit, little bit more tomorrow. We'll see, but next time we're on, we will kill a dragon. So, uh, take it easy, folks, and I'll see you around.